I, I'm not a medical doctor, but I've noticed that in many situations the EMT uh, performs uh, CPR, and I'm not sure if CPR is the best uh, medical um, uh, technique at that point. <coughs> CPR works when uh, the lungs and the nose, there's a blockage in there, either with water or smoke or some other um, obstruction. But when somebody is hemorrhaging, uh, I don't see CPR is going to make a difference. The person may seem as though they're, they're, they're fighting to get some air in, but it's simply because their blood is hemorrhaging and uh, the blood is what transports this oxygen through with the red blood cells to, um, to wherever the cells that need the oxygen. So that when somebody has uh, a hemorrhage, uh, especially as you see in the later video where this person was shot in the chest, pumping the chest or, or in the heart, pumping the chest will only create uh, more hemorrhaging and, and, and surely the person will die. Perhaps they should upgrade uh, EMT so that they could probably uh, have blood to uh, give a transfusion on the field. Only then I see um, this would make a difference or give the person some oxygen. But when you go pumping the chest, you're just causing more hemorrhaging. This is the latest shooting here in Oakland. Here's the guy lying there, the trying to resuscitate him. Who shot me, cops? Folks just here to pop, 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 pop. And as you saw where the EMT either were performing it or su supervising the performance of uh, CPR in this individual who was shot in the chest. Um, you tell me whether you don't think that uh, this person probably would have had a better chance of living if they hadn't performed any CPR. You be the judge.